Wagwan Massive and Crew, DJ Cool Breeze here once again with another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do scratching using your transform effect and your pitch fader. So to do this effectively, you want to set your pitch fader at the maximum range. So if you press this R right here beside your pitch fader, it should put your fader up to plus minus 50, which is the maximum range in Serato DJ. The second step now is to go to your effects panel and I already have mine open and you're going to select the transform effect. Once you select the transform effect now you turn it on then push the wet and dry knob up to about 50% and then you're going to change the beat length of your um, effect. So I set my beat length right now to 1 and I'm going to um, play the track and see and you also want to ensure that the effect is enabled on deck one or whatever deck you plan to do the scratch on so i'm gonna go ahead and press play and hear what this sound like so there you could hear your um transform effect going in and out kind of like simulating a scratch sound so to make it um easier now you're gonna set a eight beat loop on the sample and once I press the effect now, once I press play, you will hear the transform effect going in and out on this sample. So because I have it looped, it will keep on playing in a loop with the effect on it. So now I'm going to use the pitch fader and just move it up and down to simulate a scratch. So watch this demonstration. So that is how you do a simulated scratch in Serato DJ with your transform effect and your pitch fader. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe and share the channel. Once again, I'm DJ Cool Breeze. One love.